All right, boys, welcome back. Today we got a we got a pretty fun video. So as you guys all know, uh, Tamaki Majiki, yes, he has gotten released. He's been here for at least about like 19, 20 hours now. And after uh, testing on EU first, and then when he finally came out on NA, I was able to sit down with like a bunch of people and we were all testing and seeing how it went. Um, and we kind of came up with a pretty decent idea of how he is. I've seen a lot of opinions also being thrown around, so I'll give you my opinion, my take on this. Today we're talking about Tamaki Majiki. Hope you guys are ready for it. Again, this is my first impressions. A lot of things can't change because again it's a it's, it's day one right we as we go along as we test more there might be better builds there might be better talents there might be better things but what i can give you in the first day and it's actually not terrible but we'll talk about it so first thing i'm not a, uh, a massive beluga whale so uh, today i have him at 74,000 bp it's not terrible but it's not the best um again i'm working on gear calm down I'll, I'll have it set out when i actually can get close to at least set nine i keep fusing getting set sevens so it, it's terrible, but I got his chips here. They're not fully upgraded and they are they're pretty bad um, I got this and I got speed good 264 a level four speed on this depression I got this one which it went up all the way on crit and then now power which again depression and we have this which was literally speed So I don't know what my luck is, but I mean I did get level two technical So that's not bad level three speed though, but other than that not a bad chip so when it comes to talent tree, I'm going to give you my opinion here and my take on this. And again, it's day one. This is my first impression. This is what I got. Now, I'm going to say this, and this is going to be the honest thing. At the time when I first did this and I was like checking it out, I went left and I went top right. Now, again, that's not bad. It actually is pretty decent. It's pretty good. But there is an alternative to this. And I may reset this. And, you know, again, it cost me, what, 290 hero coins? Um, or 300 hero coins now. But it cost me that much. I may reset this. And I may go down the route of down here and top right. Now, what? Why am I saying that? It's because this is very good if you are picking up his EX card, right? If you pick up that card and it is in fact that one that is a Q one, not the damage increase, the other one, that will help this one out massively. Currently, my luck sucks miserably, so I'm at 80 out of 100. I may do two multis and I may see um, what happens here, but you can tell this card, um, if you were to look at it, right? And you were to check out how exactly it does. So it says, uh, what is it? it? Increases the damage of Q, both the enhanced and regular version, by 6.7%. The higher the crack stack on the enemy that you know it has, the higher the damage you will deal with Q, up to 33.5%. Then again, if you upgrade it, it's different. But right now, you can see that that last talent tree piece adds two crack stats to that enemy. Hence, every time you keep adding crack stats, you then can go, uh, or stacks, not stats, stacks, you then can go use Q and it will increase that damage significantly. So again, if you do have that EX, these two routes are definitely the best to go. I did go left because again, initially I didn't have it. I was like, screw it. Um, because you do get a decent damage increase here. Also, if you wanna go for survivability, it definitely is down here with the 5% damage reduction. So again, you can go both sides like full right. You can go top left and then top right. I have seen someone do top, uh, bottom right and left. I don't know if that's like the, the greatest, but you can also do that, right? It doesn't really hurt. Um, it's removing this, which is the in shell form gains an additional damage reduction based on his current HP. The lower the HP is, the higher the damage reduction is up to 50%. This effect can also occur during Q manifest, uh, manifesting strike enhanced. So you can do that. But again, if you have his EX, you can go both ways on the right side. If you don't, you can definitely do the top left and then top right. That's perfectly fine also. Now, when it comes to support cards, this was where it gets a little bit iffy also. With this, there are a lot of options and I, there's a lot of things that you can do, right? So first things first, if you can pull both his EXs, that's very good. Now you use those and then you can just use any other two cards. Again, I think that Nobu and Ecto are pretty, pretty solid um, for Tamaki. And again, also swapping it out, there was game start here a little bit ago, but you can also do Cold Shot. And I think that he gets a little bit more of a bonus from Cold Shot. Um, I think so, right? That it's a little bit better over game start. It could be wrong on that one. But also on the side here, when I do actually go in, I go and get that final card. Um, definitely, if you have his EX, this is going to be a better character. Obviously, with Neji Ray 2, if you have that EX, it definitely becomes better. Similar to uh, Endeavor, if you have that Lance card, it becomes better. And again, my end-all build may remain to be uh, Nomu and Ecto. And then I throw on the EX here, and then I'll just... This spot will definitely change up, too. Um, I think Cold Shot gets a little bit more of a boost, and definitely it helps out more. Um, and again, I do have an extra game start. I don't have an extra Cold uh, Shot right now. I was just using it to test on this. I took this off of one of my other characters. So I will have to see how that works out. Um, but again, I did see people testing out with Mirio. Also, Whirlwind, too. If you want to try that out also, um, you definitely can. There are definitely a lot of things you can go and mix match on this character. And again, as of right now, I have my muster here that is not even... Uh, broken through which sucks but this is what 
my build is currently. Again, yes, Game Start can be swapped out here. If I get Whirlwind, I'll definitely throw that on. If I get his EX, that's going to be for this spot right here. Um, again, I think I'm going to remain these two here, and then I'll continue working on it and telling you if it's any changes. I'm also going to be making a Google Doc soon, and I'll have it updated constantly. If there are, you know, solid builds and new characters come out, and then we get good builds for them right away, and what's the ideal build. So I'll drop that, and if anything changes in this video, I'll have that ready for you so that you can just check that out, which is not that bad. And now again, here's my first impression. Now here's my entire breakdown of this character. Currently, you're going to see some Warzone gameplay, and I went through 10 matches. I recorded all 10 of them, and I'm going to tell you now, out of those 10, mostly Amajiki didn't do much. He didn't do that great. And again, yes, it's a 74k um, Amajiki, remember that. And yes, the other characters on the team are going to be Asui and then Weku. I also changed with All Might and Stain. I constantly was just mix, uh, mix matching and then seeing how it would go. But I will say it right now, that definitely if you are looking for a broken, insane, like outstanding character like Nejire, you're not getting that here. Amajiki is great, but if you do hold that comparison to Nejire, it's different. Nejire is insane support, and then she is a literal Warzone warrior. She just destroys, okay? She does. Like, and we first, like, tested her, and we, everyone was trying her in agency, in, um, in Warzone, in Super Co-op, and anything. You could see that she is a broken character. With Tamaki, it's a little bit different. He is great. He is not the best in the game in, like, 10 out of 10. He's great, okay? I'm gonna say that now. Yes, he's definitely, again, when you look at it, other characters, when you first tested, like, Weku, when you first tested Wodo, when you first tried out Nejire, those are great characters. Those are insane. They are very powerful, and you can consider them overpowered. That's how they were. When it does come to him, and this is, again, just because everyone is looking at it as an anniversary character, they all expected big, explosive things from him. They expected, like, the number one character in the game. Power creep time. We're about to lose everything. It's, it, this is the time for the outstanding character to break the game. Must summon of the year. You didn't get that. You really didn't. This is not that character, and it does not hold that status at all. He is fun. He is very enjoyable. I will say Warzone is not his specialty yet. Unless we start testing it more and maybe things change, but right now he I don't know He messes up a lot, right? His AI is a little bit wonky and it kind of just you know Doesn't get too much damage off again as we progress and as we do more things We'll finally uh, we'll find out more but again with Nedger right day one with just basic testing and just by putting her on a team Any team doesn't matter. She destroyed right with uh, with uh, with Tamaki and I've seen this also he only kind of works on the stun team, right? So if you throw Asui on there, if you throw Aizawa on there, if you kind of throw Wodo on there, they definitely will help him a lot because it will give him a chance to attack. And then when he does attack, he can put up some good numbers, but that's if you can actually allow him to do so. He kind of gets knocked out right away. And in all the matches I dealt with, he just got knocked down in like seconds, right? The first attack he does, I believe is like the clam thing. So I honestly don't understand what the entire idea around his AI is. But if you were to play it manually and you do take him into agency, he can, again, put up some good numbers. Yes, he won't put up explosive numbers. He won't be insane support and, like, the number one character in the game, like Nedjure. Um, not saying she's number one, but saying she's up there. But, yes, in Warzone, he is not all that. Yes, Nedjure in Warzone, in agency assessment, she's the star of the show. Definitely with her passive, you see that she's very, very good. And she does put up numbers. When she's boosted, it's actually insane how well she does and how well she holds up. And then when you SS her, then when you get the card on her, she actually gets even, even better. So on top of that, she's a very good character. With um, Tamaki, I don't know, in Warzone, he wasn't, like, pulling any numbers. It, it, was, it was pretty low. Um, he was not doing as much. Again, maybe the team I did, maybe something I did. Um, but when I did take a look into uh, my Discord, I talked to a bunch of people. They had a similar conclusion that, yes, he doesn't do a lot of damage. And he definitely isn't the uh, the best when it comes to Warzone. Again, he could be just a replacement of some of the characters on there. Yes, he can. But I don't think that he is, again, going to be a solidified thing later on as you get more characters. He's, again, not bad. But if you uh, take him to agency, if you take him into other things, and you manually play him, you can definitely get good numbers. And, again, I did a damage test. Um, again, he's at 74k uh, BP. And I didn't do that bad on the damage test. It did pretty good. I think it got, like one you just the number i got that and it wasn't again that bad ended up being pretty good but again you let me know how it's going for you how is the entire uh, first impression on your thing are you enjoying him are you you know thinking that i'm just capping here um maybe my build was wrong maybe i did something wrong and he actually is better than that again i'll continue testing and maybe you know later down the line he gets better again we jumped on walk ago but you know some builds can make him a little bit better than what we were saying so maybe the same thing is for uh, for tamaki and maybe it's just a little bit early to uh, to judge him again give me your opinions down below in the comments what are you guys thinking but that's me that's basically what i have for you here today with that being said thank you for watching peace out everyone enjoy that was just my first impression of how he's looking i will try more uh, tomorrow and continue testing and checking out how he is and building him up and just trying to raise his vp because it's a little bit low so i got that thank you for watching peace out enjoy and i will catch you guys in the next one